स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ करंट इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ऑट स्टेट एक्सपेरिमेंट राइट हैंड थम रूल बायोट सेवर्ट्स लॉ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू इनफाइनाइटली लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू अ सर्कुलर लू कैरिंग करंट now magnetic effect of current an electric current produces magnetic effect in the space around the conductor called strength of magnetic field or simply magnetic field so the orsted experiment said it states that when current was allowed to flow through a wire placed parallel to the axis of a magnetic needle kept directly below the wire the needle was found to deflect from its normal position as shown in the figure 1 now when current was reversed through the wire the needle was found to deflect in the opposite direction to the earlier case now the right hand rule or right hand thumb rule or curl rule so it states that if a current carrying conductor is imagined to be held in the right hand such that the thumb points in the direction of the current then the tips of the fingers encircling the conductor will give the direction of magnetic lines of force so as shown in the figure the, the thumb points the direction of current so the direction of current is in upward direction then the direction of magnetic field is in anti clockwise direction the next is bio severs law so bio severs law states that the strength of magnetic field that is db due to a small current element dl carrying a current i at a point p which is distance r from the element is directly proportional to the current i is directly proportional to the length of the element that is dl and directly proportional to sin of theta and inversely proportional to the square of the distance that is the distance between the point and the element that is r so inversely proportional to the square of the distance where theta is the angle between the dl and r so we can write bio severs law in mathematical form as db is directly proportional to i dl sin theta upon r square or db is equal to mu not upon 4 pi i dl sin theta upon r square or here we have mu not upon 4 pi which is constant which is equal to 10 to the power minus 7 tesla meter per ampere now if you want to write bio severs law in vector form we can write it as magnetic field db is equal to mu not i dl cross unit vector r upon 4 pi r square or vector db can be written as mu not i dl cross r vector upon 4 pi r cube the direction of magnetic field db is same as that of direction of dl cross r vector which can be determined by right hand screw rule the current element is a vector quantity whose magnitude is the vector product of current and length of small element having the direction of the flow of current now the magnetic field due to a straight wire carrying current so according to bio severs law we have db is equal to mu not upon 4 pi i dl sin theta upon r square now if you see the figure here sin theta is having a upon r and if we replace it we get sin theta is equal to a upon r which is cos of phi or r is equal to a upon cos of phi or we can write tan of phi is equal to i upon a or i is equal to a tan phi 
So we can write dl is equal to a sec square phi d phi. Now if we substitute for r and dl and db, we get db is equal to mu naught i cos phi d phi upon 4 pi a. The magnetic field due to hole conductor is obtained by integrating with limits phi 1 to phi 2. Phi 1 is taken negative since it is anti-clockwise. So we get total magnetic field B which is integral of dB which is integration of phi, minus phi 1 to phi 2 mu naught i cos phi d phi upon 4 pi a. So we get B is equal to mu naught i upon 4 pi a into sine phi 1 plus sine phi 2. Now if the straight wire is infinitely long then your phi 1 is equal to phi 2 which is equal to pi by 2. So if you put the value of sine pi by 2 we get sine pi by 2 is 1 and sine pi by 2 is 1 so we get magnetic field B is equal to mu naught i upon 2 pi a. The direction of magnetic field B is same as that of direction of dl cross r vector which can be determined by right hand screw rule. It is perpendicular to the plane of the diagram and entering into the plane at p. So in figure we can easily see the magnetic field lines. So if the direction of current is in upward direction the magnetic field is in anti-clockwise direction and if the direction of current is downward direction then the magnetic field is in clockwise direction. Now the next is magnetic field due to a circular loop carrying current. So here we have to find at the first point we have to calculate magnetic field at a point on the axial line. So here we consider a circular loop having radius A and we consider axial line and at on that axial line we take a point P which is distance x from the center. So if we resolve it into components we get the horizontal component is resolved in db cos phi and vertical in db sin phi. So the plane of the coil is considered perpendicular to the plane of the diagram such that the direction of magnetic field can be visualized on the plane of the diagram. At C and D current elements x, y and x dash y dash are considered such that current at C emerges out and current at D enters into the plane of the diagram. So we can write by using Biosevert's law we can write db is equal to mu naught ideal sin theta upon 4 pi r square or db is equal to mu naught ideal upon 4 pi r square since the angle theta between dl and r is 90 degree because the radius of the loop is very small and since sin 90 is 1 so we write db is equal to mu naught ideal upon 4 pi r square. Now the semi vertical angle made by r to the loop is phi and the angle between r and db is 90 degree. So therefore the angle between vertical axis and db is also phi. So db is resolved into components db cos phi and db sin phi. So due to diagrammatically opposite current elements cos phi components are always opposite to each other and hence they cancel out each other. Sin phi components due to all current elements dl get added up along the same direction in the direction away from the loop. So we can write magnetic field B is equal to integral of db sin phi. So put the value of db which is mu naught ideal upon 4 pi r square into sin of phi. Or we can write b is equal to mu naught i into 2 pi a into a upon 4 pi a square plus x square into a square plus x square to the power half. So if we solve it we get b is equal to mu naught i a square upon 2 a square x square to the power 3 by 2 where mu naught 
i a sin phi are constants and integral of dl we can write 2 pi a and sin phi are replaced with the measurable and constant values so we get net magnetic field b is equal to mu naught i a square upon 2 a square x square to the power 3 by 2 thank you Thank you.